Welcome to the warm-up, a Bailiwick Express podcast giving an insight into the sports action that is on the horizon. We're talking cycling in the warm-up. My name is Nick Mann and in this episode I'm joined by Academy prospect Charlie Tortell and Development Officer Paul Degari. We discuss how Charlie has been testing himself at British Cycling Development Weekends and what's coming up in the sport locally, including this weekend's four-day Easter Festival. Charlie, just just to start with you, um, obviously cycling big part of your life now. How, how did you get into it to start with? Oh, I started when I was young. I lived right by the park where all the races used to happen. So my parents took me up there one day and just that's how I got into it. And what, what is it about cycling that's kept, kept you involved? Oh, I love seeing all the views at night and being with people that ride. And you've had a chance as well with British Cycling. How, how did that come about and what's, what's it entailed? After getting a good season last season, I got nominated forward to do a regional school of racing with some of the top guys in the UK. It's really good to see where, everyone, where everyone's at and how people are technically, physically, get a good view for the competitors. Yeah, Paul, I mean, I guess this is a good good example of how the work with the youngsters has been developing with Guernsey Cycling or with the Velo Club. So. Yeah, so, you know, Charlie's obviously been doing a lot of racing locally over the last few years and he's come to that level now where he needs to take that step up in these British Cycling weekends. Uh, like he sort of said, you know, it's a comparison where you're at, but you'd then when you're against better riders, the optional game as well. So from a technical aspect, from all, you know, I think over those weekends, you covered quite a lot or Charlie covered quite a lot in terms of race preparation, you know, just the finer detail, which we don't really, you know, we do cover over here. But when you're at that sort of top level, working with the British Cycling Off-Road Talent Development Coaches, you know, to take that step up, that's what you're going to need. And again, it's another great example of the the sort of avenues and the um, what's available to cyclists in Guernsey. Yeah, so, you know, we certainly when I came into the job, uh, the position, one of the things was to make that sort of connection, that pathway, so the riders over here could see, right, if I want to go in the roadside, I want to go off-road, right, what do I need to do? Right, this is the pathway you go. So making those connections with the likes of Rick Jameson, uh, who's the off-road talent development coach, you know, he's got a very strong connection with the Channel Islands as well, but you know, inputting with him, sort of saying what riders are, you know, you're going to need to have a look at this one, or we recommend to sort of, right, can that person go over? Uh, and the encouragement going forward is that we want a lot more of our riders racing off island, uh, which the plan is will happen quite a lot this year, uh, which is a, a good positive move and another step in the right direction for the club. And Charlie, when when you're involved in racing, what what is it that that you find so enjoyable? I love getting in the zone, pushing myself to go as fast as I can and keep out of other people. And do you have um, any ambitions for where you'd like to take it? Well, this year I hope to get top ten, top five on a national scale, and in the future I hope to go to the Ireland Games in Orkney and Faroe Islands. Charlie's development over the last sort of two, three years, he's now at that stage where the training comes up maybe a little bit more, I say, serious. Uh, but he's still young, but he has a little bit more focus. Uh, and the way he's developed over the winter in the cyclocross league, he's been finishing up, up near the top, top two or three places. You know, it's not. It's yeah, it's going to be realistic. He's you know had a good strong race at the weekend, uh, and over the generally over the winter series. And the cyclocross side of it as well, it's pr- pretty new to Guernsey, um, which is something you introduced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, you know, we, we had a, a second series over the winter, which sort of improved on what we did uh, in the first year. And we had some new venues. We also finished that off with an insular in uh, Jersey in the Canave. Uh Unfortunately, we didn't have our strongest team, but we had a team of cyclists which we've never had before and it was the first interinsular as well I think post-Covid uh, so it was you know the sport itself that discipline in particular has just grown it's gone gone massive uh, 
and next year we've got bigger plans uh, which uh, all will be a release as we go throughout the year but there's plenty more racing before that in other disciplines what a perfect segue because we've got easter festival coming up haven't we? And there's a lot of sport going on that weekend so uh thing but cycling it's it's a little bit the schedule slightly different this time uh so we've got the crit racing on the friday morning uh with kids are going to do their crit racing in the friday afternoon good friday afternoon at delancey park uh on the saturday in the evening there's going to be a hill climb at uh, valdez so the valdez is going to be closed uh and then it just continues on it's action-packed weekend of racing uh, and it will take us just straight into the summer season even you know even better and the easter festival as well it's open to non-club members to... non-club members uh you know we, we tried to target sort of uk as well but also one of the benefits is easter it's quite it, it's larger you attract larger fields so like, yeah so... It, it is it's a larger fields so, i mean i took per, top, took part in it personally last year uh and it's that sort of four-day stage race you know, you don't really get many of those. And sort of last year, the reco- yeah, what I can remember personally, it was like, like that recovery of like, right, I've got to get back. And it's just, we're only done a four-day stage race here. Uh, and I loved it, you know. And I think that is different to people just turning up on a Sunday morning and then just racing. And people get divided down into divisions yeah, as well? Yeah, so div- divisions. And we got we got the youngsters as well. Like I said, they're going to be youngsters. got three day or three races over the weekend with these well free events i say with that sort of cr- uh, crit up to lancy park uh the, the hill climb and then they get their t- uh, sort of time trial as well and uh why introduce the val de Terres into that uh it's different you know it's, it's, again it's just why keep the same uh and trying to build on and do something different and the val de Terres, you know it's a great hill climb last year when we did it uh, in September for the hill climb series, we had an absolutely record number turnout, uh, and that was on the Sunday morning. It was brilliant. So this this time, hopefully, the weather permitting on the Saturday evening, even better, even better. So uh, yeah, it should be a great spectator uh, event. And I say kids will do it because it's all closed road as well. Uh, so it'll be beautiful. And um, anything else happening in the world of cycling then that we should know about? It's, there's always something happening in the world of cycling. Uh, so we just finished a sort of really good winter series. Uh, and like I said, we just talked talk about the Easter Festival. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, coaching coming up uh, with our Flyers Racing League uh, for the youngsters. And also there's road crits down at the track as well. So there's plenty for the juniors there. So under, under 14s, under 16s on, uh, downwards uh, to do so. That will start beginning of May. Uh, we've got the Summer XC Series, and so the Mountain Bike Series will start again around the sort of same time. And uh, we've got some road coaching every Tuesday evening, uh, as well as a row season, road in Insula at the end of May, I believe. Uh, and we're looking, and we've got several, several of our Met Club members uh, competing away as well. So we've got, uh, of course, the numbers are double figures for the Southern region xc which is the mountain bike series uh which is uh going to be sort of around that sort of uh just outside southampton and then we're looking to take an academy group over uh for the third round i think it is in june and then we got a, a french trip booked at the end of september or end of the road season uh i think it's the end of september no it's end of august i think it is bank holiday weekend uh, where gonna, the kids are going to be doing some road, uh, road racing as well. Uh, so there's a lot to go on, lots going on, and uh, it makes for another exciting season. Now, how important is it to offer those opportunities off island as well as on island? It's f- from a development side of it. Uh, you know, I think in any sport, uh, if you want to sort of take it to the next stage, you need to challenge yourself uh, and. You know, if you're racing over here and you're racing the same people, it becomes a bit stagnant. Uh, you know, you, you, you end up winning a race, you could be five minutes clear. And what does that do for you every week or every other week? Every other week, yeah. You know, so to be challenged and sort of take into that sort of right, hold on, hold on, I'm not normally third in this position or, 
you know, it helps you develop your race skills, it helps you develop yourself as a person. Uh, and that's why, let's say, we talk about Charlie going away for these weekends. All of a sudden, he's not, I say, the big fish, or he's not that sort of number one. He's just there, a rider amongst the 20 other riders. Uh, and then, you know, you're put in positions where you're not normally, and that's where, you, you know, you start sort of developing a repertoire of skills and making you a better rider. Was that a kind of message that you, you would echo, Charlie, then? Oh, yeah, definitely. When you get there, there's normally, like, almost 500 riders from different categories, and you're just one fish in a big sea. And you got any um, riders that you particularly look up to and admire? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Sam Colwell from Guernsey. He was a big one when I was growing up. And then recently... I had Andy Culver, he's been a pretty big inspiration, and a few others as well. I and mean, it's interesting because the names you mentioned, like, like with Sam, obviously, it just shows how far riders from the island can take it as well. That's going to be a great thing to be able to aim at. You see, you see what Sam's achieved, and, you know, last year he didn't have the, you know, you say he didn't have the best of years with, his, with the contract situation, the team folding, and then finishing it or having that sort of double gold uh, having some really good island games and then all of a sudden being rewarded at the end of the season new contract and then hit the start of this season with you know a road race win on his debut you know so it shows you how things can move in cycling you know so you can be sort of down and then all of a sudden like say bang you're at the top and that you know and if, if you, I think if people know Sam it's a lot of hard work you know and there's this desire there to want to be the best you can. And then we've got Jack out in France as well. We've got Jack in France, you know, and following Jack on Instagram and whatever you, he's doing a great job. And again, why is he doing a great job? Because he's just, he's got the desire, he wants to make himself better. And he knows if he can't, you know, I'm not going to do it here, I need to get off Ireland. And that's, just, like I say, it goes for every every sportsman. That was the warm-up. Thanks again for listening. Please like and subscribe for more. You can find all our sports news on gsy.bailiwickexpress.com and on all our social channels. Sign up to our daily email to keep up to date on all the work the Express team does.